day there uh, working on this 99, I think, Suzuki Intruder. The, uh, it's been uh, draining the uh, battery down when it sits. Charging system is working fine, just uh, draining the battery down if you let it sit for a day or two. Everything's off. I uh, put a, the customer put a AutoZone battery in there. Where they bent it at, it's got a big crack right there. And got two new battery cables. I got new ground here. And guy made it while I was waiting there because it didn't have anything made up with the small ends on it. So he made me two cables, maybe this one and a new positive because the positive had been hitting up against the uh, oil cooler where it was right there too. Now between these two cables, I think he charged me like, I got some other stuff. My bill was like $24. Which included two cables, him making them, and four ends. Thanks, Brandon. Appreciate it. Got the negative cable back on there, routed where it should be. Now, I always put a star washer up against whatever it's on, so it's got the copper cable lead with the bolt going through it where it bolts up to the starter there. And I put a external star washer behind that. Now you're just going to hook your meter up, put it, probably start off on the, which is going to be this lead right here. That's your, that's your regular low volt, low amp one. You're going to put it in this right here. That's your 10 amp scale to start with if you're checking draw. And you're just going to run. With your battery disconnected, you're going to run one lead negative to the battery. And one lead positive to the ground cable. And you can see we're reading zero right now. It was like 0 0.02, 0 0.09. Just start off on that scale. So if you got a really big draw key off everything off and we know that it's not on the 10 amp scale so we're going to put the lead back in the center one there and click our meter back on the milliamp scale you see we got 2.7 milliamps which is okay for this thing Two point seven four, two point seven something, same thing. And then if you go down to micro, you notice it goes to infinite, so it's too high of a setting. So we should be we should be good right there. Drawing on it. Now I've already replaced the regulator. The regulator's up there on the front of the battery box there. To uh, before, and it, it was it was reading just under one amp draw on the on the ten amp scale. That if I put it on milliamp scale, it was over. It was reading over, so it'd be like it'd be like it was infinite, like that. All, you know, if you, you know, the way you diagnose this, if, if it isn't the regulator, then you basically 
drive your fuse board or and start disconnect pulling fuses and see what's drawing the power. If, if you pull a fuse out and say, say it's at, just say that was that one amp. It's not, but just say it was. And you start pulling fuses out and say you pull, uh, I, I don't know, say you pull the uh, accessory fuse out. Then it drops down to a lower level. Then you know that whatever's on the accessory fuse circuit is drawing the power. Charging at 14.4 volts, which is good. Uh, your, your range for running when you're checking it with a voltmeter is going to be 14.1 to 14.5. Depending on your meter, you might get 14 points. Six, fourteen, seven. So really, no more than fourteen point seven. Anything over that, you're going to cook your battery. It's overcharging. Keep an eye on your battery connections that do come loose. And uh, I always put a battery sealer. So good grounds, important, uh, probably 90%, 99% of all problems, electrical problems on vehicles are because of bad grounds. You know, you got lights that are flickering or dim or whatever. Go around, tighten stuff up. If you have to add, clean stuff off, clean it. Dielectric grease helps out, especially on regulator leads. The stuff gets old, and as far as your connectors go, and if they're not making good contact, it's, it's basic Ohm's law. You know, more resistance causes more heat. So if you see uh, plugs that are melted, like regulator plugs or any plugs at all on the bike that are melted, it's because it's got a spade and the pen and the socket are loose in there, or the spade and the terminal are loose. Uh, dielectric grease helps out if you want to pack your connectors with them. Especially the regulator plug on this thing because it's all the way up in the front of the motor there. And we're going to check the charging system now. I see a low idle here. It just started. It's cold. It's only like 13 pounds. Rev it up a little bit.
We're doing our thing. If you like my content, please like, share, subscribe, all that jazz. Have a great day and even better weekend. Take care.